Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, deal with some sequences within a uh, key. Okay, um, we covered the circle of fifths method where you can use the counterclockwise direction for almost a fail-proof uh, system of... Uh, it's, it is very fail-proof. I mean, uh, actually, what I'm going to do here first is actually kind of go back to that for a few seconds and show you that this actually that that method actually works in minor too we're just we'll just use a uh, we'll just do this okay the one some form of D some form of G some form of C some form of F some form of B some form of E a okay it works well in natural minor and you hear that all the time in progressions like this harmonic minor it also works so So that counterclockwise direction works out really well in a minor as well. So, um, and I didn't even change substituting any chords in there. So, uh, and a lot of the times in natural minor, you'll uh, have the the two will be followed by the raised third five. Okay, that's that's very common too in natural minor. It doesn't work out very well in melodic minor. So, so let's let's use the raised third five. See how just. So it works out really nice. So um, let's use some a seventh chain instead. Okay, I'm not gonna do much on this because I want to go into other topics. Just it's kind of a, let's just play it musically for a second. So you probably heard a lot of pieces of music that have used that sequence. So, so let's go the opposite direction. I don't have the circle pulled up, but it's C, some form of C, some form of G, some form of D, some form of A, some form of E, some form of B, some form of F, some form of C. Okay. So we're going the opposite direction. If I don't have the circle pulled up, but so you notice how different it sounds than then going the uh, counterclockwise it doesn't flow nearly like the counterclockwise version so um however that's not a bad thing because it might be a desired effect so that's in minor some form of E some form of B same order some form of F some form of C some form of G some form of D except your the, your tonal centers in a different place by the way well, I'll skip that but sorry let me just play that musically. It's a little less predictable, predictable than counterclockwise movement. Okay, and it's actually might be a desired effect. You might be looking for less predictability. So, so going back to major, some we'll, we'll go on the counterclockwise movement within key, and that most everything in this video is going to be in key. So, um. We're not going to use any borrowed chords or nothing. So let's use that sequence, but do some kind of twist so it doesn't sound so root position. And then broke out of it. So and now I'm going to use a partial aspect of it. You notice how way less predictable this sounds than. Then a uh, fifth base, fourth and fifth space moving in the counterclockwise direction. Sounds so. Here's what we did. You just used inversions. It's still the same harmonic sequence. Now after using. I just kind of used more of root position stuff and only a partial now. You notice how, how different this sounds than uh, counterclockwise movement? It sounds a lot different, so, um, and it might be a desired effect. So let's take, let's do something different now. Let's go up a third, down a fifth, up a third, down a fifth as our root movement, down a fifth. So, 
Well, let's uh, actually, let's take it. This is the movement we get. So it's a whole new way of thinking about progressions. Now, if that's kind of boring by itself, so let's do it like this. The same movement, but with inversions in seventh chords. Same exact root movement, except we're using inversions, so it creates a kind of a cool little chain. So up a third, down a fifth, however, using inversions, the, that's just the chord root. So we're not, when, I'm, when I say that, so the chord root, but you can still inversions. Let's do that same thing in minor. Okay, down a sixth is still the same as up a third, okay? Up a third, down a fifth, up a third, down a, f d down a diminished fifth, and you might want to go to the raised third five. So maybe to breathe some life into that, we'll use seventh chains or something like. So we had a C minor, E flat major seventh, A flat major seventh, C minor seventh, F minor 7th, F minor 7th, uh, A flat major 7th, and then D half diminish to a G, okay, raise 3rd, 5. So, just has, just add a little spice to it. Let's do it the same way, same way we did it before with inversions, same chords as we did just a second ago. So the same harmonic sequence, but you're using inversions instead of root position, like we did before. In fact, that sequence could probably just be left alone like this. It sounds nice just by itself. So that's a, ni that's a nice little harmonic sequence. We're still using the same root movement, but using inversions instead. So let's change the inversions again. Do it like this. So either way, it produces some kind of sequence that has a little melodic motif that repeats on different degrees, in this case in the lower end. Let's do something like this, okay, and go to a secondary dominant, substitute the C and the D as a secondary dominant, and do something like that. So it's kind of still the same sequence, really. as. So you could do something like that. Look for opportunities to substitute a, a secondary dominant chord for one of the chords in the sequence. So we're just, this is all we're doing. The, uh, the movement's still the same, up a third, down a fifth, up a third, down a fifth. And sometimes it's a diminished fifth. It doesn't really matter, so... So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in inversions with the walk down again with the secondary dominance in place of some of the chords. Okay. So I'm I'm kind of getting a little carried away with this progression. So the sequence, I mean. But that's the whole point. Sometimes you want to take something and just run every possible idea you can to get through it. So let me do that up just So now we have a bunch of options to use on the same harmonic sequence, root movement sequence, but with inversions. Up a third, down a fifth, up a third. This is our bass movement. And then broken out, going to the raised third five. Let me play this musically in a different way. Just... 
substituted in the uh, two chord with the secondary dominant. So that works. It's still the same movement. So it doesn't matter. It's the harmonic sequence is still there. Up a third, down a fifth, up a third, down a fifth. Your root movement, however you can use inversions. So just always consider the what's the root chord. That's the actual movement that's going on. So the, the sequence is still the same. However, it sounds different and it's a different option. Just like playing uh, one, four, five, in different inversions is still one four five okay so remember that take any harmonic sequence you can do and I got a little carried away there I took that one and I just started to wander around with it work with it do that with every single sequence you learn and you'll find that you come up with so many options for the same thing so the whole point here is to take some kind of harmonic sequence within key and explore all your options to get it to sound creatively a little bit different than root movement, for instance, don't always use root movement because, like chords in root position, don't always use that. That can, that can actually um, hinder your ability to come up with something creative. So take all these sequences that we're learning and try to run them through the mill like this. Um, same harmonic sequence with different inversions, different chord types, sevenths, whatever. Um, just try everything and you'll find that you'll, this will actually expand your harmonic vocabulary within a key and you'll have way more options and you know and you probably have way more ideas within a key than you normally would if you're st especially if you're stuck in like one four five uh, six type music this this will be a way out doing stuff like this so all right let's move on to the next one we'll just do some more harmonic sequences within key so